All right, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News, and you will be happy to know that your hardened tax dollars are going to good use, because Dr. Anthony Fauci is the highest paid employee in the entire U.S. federal government. That's right, folks. This piece of shit <laughs> is the highest paid employee in the entire federal government. Dr. Anthony Fauci made $417,000 in 2019. How much did you make? That made him not only the highest paid doctor in the federal government, but the highest paid out of all 4 million federal employees, which is another category all to itself that there are 4 million federal employees. And I don't know if you heard the latest about this little gnome. He wants people to start wearing two masks. Because if one is good, two's got to be better, right? Isn't that kind of like admitting that one doesn't work? Because they don't. There you go. Highest paid employee in the entire federal government. Tax dollars going to fine use. He's the one in charge of this whole hoax anyway. But I digress. Potato Head said in October 2020, you can't legislate through executive order unless you're a dictator. Well, I got to get the votes, Biden said. I got to get the votes. I'd play this, but I'd get a strike. That's why you know the one thing, you know, that's how he talks. That's why you know the one thing that I, I have this strange notion. We are a democracy. No, we're not, Potato Head. We're a constitutional republic. A democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for lunch. Some of my Republican friends and some of my Democratic friends even occasionally say, well, if you can't get the votes by executive order, you're going to do something. Things you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator. That doesn't even make sense, but... Bottom line, he says, you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator. We're a democracy, he wrongly repeats again. We're a constitutional republic, potato head. Executive orders in the first three days. Biden, 19. Trump, 1. Obama, 5. Bush, 0. Clinton, 1. All time. These are executive orders by year. Obama, 34. Trump, 55. Joe Biden on pace for 1,278 executive orders. And he says, you cannot legislate through executive orders unless you're a dictator. What changed, potato head? All right, let's move on, shall we? Trump impeachment, dead on arrival. In the Senate, he will neither be convicted nor barred from holding public office. Nancy Pisspants Pelosi, hardest hit. You can read the link. I'm not going to go through all this. I'll put the link in the description. Journalists mobilize against free speech. This is a long one that you can look at also, but all these journalists are saying... You know, we can't have free speech anymore. Can you imagine a journalist being against free speech? It's time for this question to be front and center. Should Fox News be allowed to exist? Steve Cole. Those of us in journalism have come to terms with the fact that free speech, a principle that we hold sacred, oh really, is being weaponized against the principles of journalism. Tell it, tell it, Steve. Richard Stingle. All speech is not equal. Equal. <laughs> I can't even talk today. And where truth cannot drive out lies, we must add new guardrails. Really? Who's going to decide what those are? You lefty lunatics, I would imagine. The New Yorker. 
Yet Americans are content to leave this essential component of democracy. They're pounding this democracy bullshit, too. We're a constitutional republic, journalists. To profit-driven corporations was next to no regular regulatory oversight. Who's going to do the regulatory oversight? Lefty lunatics? Let me check. The fact checkers? By the way, the Washington Post has done away with their fat checking. They will not need it for potato head Biden. Emily Bazelon, America is drowning in lies. The problem of free speech in the age of disinformation. These are journalists against free speech. Bill Adair, he founded PolitiFact. But he says a mere website can't go far enough in protecting the public from the dread disease of misinformation. According to who? The lefty lunatics, Peter Singer. There's a tidal wave of misinformation. I know. And it's spread by you idiots in the mainstream media. CNN, you want to see where a tidal wave of misinformation comes from? Right here. Just a reminder that neither Verizon, AT, or Comcast have answered any questions about why they beam channels like One America News and Newsmax into millions of homes. Do they have any second thoughts about distributing these channels given their election denialism content? They won't say. They should have second thoughts about putting CNN in everybody's house. All right, well, this goes on and on and on and on. Well, here's our favorite Washington Post. Democracy dies in the dark. Jeff Bezos owns Washington Post. He will not let his union vote by mail because it won't be valid or fair. Washington Post. They don't want free speech either. Okay, you get the point. They're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. Okay, moving on. Cat turd really lets us down. New York Post headline. One in five Americans have confidence that Biden can unite the country. Laugh my ass off. Shouldn't this headline be 80% of Americans have no confidence Joe Biden can unite the country? You're right, cat turd. That's exactly what it should be. Okay, so here we go. Another dangerous criminal. Off the streets. They got him. Thank God. What did he do? He jaywalked. They got him. What the hell? We tell you to stop, you stop. That's called instructing, everybody. Learn. Learn. It's black when you don't stop. Jaywalking. Jaywalking. <laughs> Jaywalking. Look at this guy's face. Distracting <laughs> everybody. Learn. Learn. Look at this. Jaywalking. Jaywalking. What a bunch of fucking idiots the cops are sometimes, I swear. All right, we're going to finish on another note of humor. This one's great. The difference between Red Bull and beer. Here we go. Here we go. Here he comes. <laughs> what the hell is this guy trying to do? <laughs> All right. Let's watch that one more time, shall we? All right. Here we go. This is how you do it. <laughs> And that's going to do it for this edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, because remember, the Aimless News must be told.